Updating your switches with TFTP. Let's go. Uh, hi, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and today we're going to be updating a switch using TFTP. Now, many devices on your network will need to be updated. They all get firmware updates, security updates, and some are like home routers and things like that. They're pretty simple. Like if I go to my router, I just click, you know, download the file and just click update and I can update and upload the file directly to it. Sometimes you have to use something called TFTP. So trivial file transfer protocol. So this is like an FTP server, but there's not a lot of, you know, mechanics to it or anything. It's just, let me bring this up inside my network for five minutes just so I can get this file transferred over and loaded onto you know my switch or whatever so if I, I'm looking at my switch here and I'm seeing my firmware version is 1.0.0.3 okay so if I go to uh, Netgear come down here look at the current version is 1.6.0.4 so that's much newer and I know already that I want to update. So just, I know there's probably going to be some good security fixes or something in there. Um, I've downloaded the file here already, and it's a good idea once you have the file and it's downloaded to dig in here and look at the release notes. So this is going to tell you, uh, we can look up these security fixes for what's going on. Um, for more information, you can go to that link. Um, there's a bug fix here. Um, something else we want to look at is here, it says, after we upgrade to a version 1.6.0.3 or higher, it can't work with the Netgear Plus utility prior to their 2.7.2. So that's another thing we have to always watch for. As we move forward and move the firmware forward, are we breaking anything? Is our utility, is some management that we're using to connect to it, is that going to be uh, broken? So I've had in instances where I had upgraded one part of the network and using the new tool to manage it, and the other part of the network wasn't compatible with the new tool, so I had to make sure to have both of the tools together and just, you know, it can make it complicated, you know, trying to keep everything upgraded. If you have a switch stack, you know, they have, many switches that can be all connected together and act as one, you can actually, many systems, you can upload and update one of them in the stack and then push that down to all of the others. So that's kind of nice. here right now. We just have a simple uh, little, this is little pro save click switch. Um, it's pretty small. It just like clicks into a wall um, with a little bracket, but it needs to be updated. So. We also need, according to the uh, their notes, you can use the ProSafe utility to update this. And often many vendors will have a utility of some kind that will allow you to update the switch directly. But this would be specific to what vendor you're using. So if you have Dell might be different from Cisco might be different from Netgear, might be different from a, another brand. But many of them and most of them support TFTP. And most of the devices that I found usually use this TFTP method um, for updating. Okay. So we need a TFTP server and SolarWinds offers one free. Um, you can push, like it says, OS images, firmware, configurations, backup files and transfers up to four gig. Well, I'm not, I think this thing is 200 K. So it's definitely not going to be into the gigabyte range. So I can use this tool. It's easy, sign up and download the tool. I already have the tool downloaded here. It's right here. So I need to install it. Installing it is fairly quick and hopefully easy. Okay, so we're checking our install. And we're gonna go next. I'm gonna agree, go next. It's just going to install it there. Next. 
installing. So these TFTP servers are extremely small. They don't take up much space. They're, they're just there to just move the file over. So it already gives me the, this TFTP server service has started. And then here I'm seeing TFTP root is where the folder is. So I should be able to go to my copy this. This is the, the bin file here is the file that I need moved over to the system. So there's a directory here, TFTP root, and I paste it in there. It's only a couple of K. Okay, now I need to know what my IP address is. So we'll come down and go Windows System command prompt, IP config, and I am 192.168.1.47. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do um, just for this um, is go to the Windows firewall and turn it off. So we'll go to advanced settings. That way I know that my TFTP server is not um, going to be messing with me. So let's go firewall is on. Firewall off. Apply. Private off, apply, public, off, apply. Okay, so now our firewall is off. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so now let's go to our switch here. Too many windows open. Okay, Netgear Pro Safe switch. Okay, so now I'm going to go to maintenance, firmware upgrade. So if you see here, it's it says uh, firmware enter loader mode to get the firmware. That's where I, we need a TFTP server. So click the button. Now it's gonna give me even my TFTP server address, which in this case is 192.168.1.47. Okay, so that's gonna be that. Now we need the file name. So I'm just gonna click here, select the whole thing, copy it, and paste. Okay, so now I need to kind of move the display that way. Okay, so now we have the IP address of the TFTP server, and when I click, it should give me some notification that it's connected. Um, and then we have the file that I want, so I'm gonna hit apply, and now it should be, see it connected and going, and now my little Switch says that it's upgrading the firmware and it's gonna it's gonna have to reboot probably after that's done. Should not take very long. But you saw here we got it's very simple, didn't really need a login or anything. It says, okay, this device 103 connected to it, firmware upgraded successfully. Please wait for the switch to finish rebooting. So we got the start and end here. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, there we go, we're rebooted. Log in, I'm not gonna save that. Okay, so now what does it say? It says we're running 1.6.0.4. So I've successfully upgraded this switch firmware using TFTP. Okay, so that's kind of how you do that. I mean, it's you have to download that little server and it gets kind of, you know, that's why I turned the firewall off because so that that doesn't block anything and do all those little tiny steps in between kind of to make sure that it works. But that will upgrade a switch, some router, some different things, use this TFTP. Some people will actually place a just a dedicated TFTP server on their network so that they know they can copy files to a specific folder and then be able to go to uh, multiple switches around their office and be able to update them um, if necessary. All right. Well, if you have any other questions about how to use TFTP or upgrading switches or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll respond. Um, I have 70 subscribers. Thank you everybody who's subscribing. Um, I appreciate it. This channel is fun for me to do and I like, you know, putting out information. So continue to like and subscribe my videos and I will continue to make them. All right. Well, thanks for watching this one and take care.